Well, hello there. This is Nate. Hope y'all are having a wonderful day today. So today I have a treat for you. This is the St. Andrews here at Homes Direct in Albany, Oregon. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. This home is made by Palm Harbor. Yes, I am directly across the street as I've pointed out in a few other videos here. In fact, the building is directly behind me where I'm filming this one. This would be where your garage would go in this home, kind of give you an idea. You get a dining room. You get a breakfast nook. And let me just tell you, the master bathroom, OMG is all I can say. Just wait till you see the master bathroom in this home. With that, let's head on in. I'll try not to keep you waiting too long. So this is an open floor plan, as you can tell. But we will start with the living room area. Nice and large. Now, no tray ceiling. Whether that's an option or not, I don't know. The gray on the walls, that's what they went with all the way around. Now this home is well lit. So it's, uh, the previous home I filmed had the gray on it and it did not have enough lighting in it, trust me. You would definitely need to add some more lighting. So as I said, this is a very large, wide open floor plan here. I would almost have to cut the carpet off, kind of right where that pillar starts all the way up to what is essentially your master bathroom master bedroom so you're going to want to keep that in mind if you don't like carpet in the dining room this part is your actual dining room with the sliding glass door got a great big window off to the side there really nice light fixture up there so you've got seating for six easy You even get a small porch off the back here. Now this is not a very big porch, as you can tell. Now I can't go out there because they've got it blocked and locked and all that good stuff, because it's not an exit. You could easily add to that and make that a really large back porch, or deck is essentially what it would turn into. And into our kitchen, you've got this. Now this isn't even the breakfast nook. This is just your, I guess you would call it a breakfast bar, raised up from your sink on the other side. As we come around here, you can see that it's raised up. They've got the marble backsplash in there. Now it does have the dual sinks. You got the lots of cabinet space down here. I can clearly see that that's where your dishwasher would go when you order this home and you get the dishwasher. So as I've said in previous videos, none of these show models have the dishwasher in them. You can obviously option the dishwasher in. These are the black Whirlpool appliances shown with the home. These are just show models that you're going to order off of. Let's see. Take a look at this big corner cabinet here. Fully adjustable corner cabinet. I'm assuming the rest of them are. 
cabinets go almost to the ceiling there. And over here, you've got that marble tile or backsplash. Then they went with this glass and stainless steel inlay. Looks really nice all the way around. And over here is your breakfast nook. Really nice breakfast nook. So let's come take a look at your bedrooms down here. We've got a very large pant er, pantry. There is no pantry in the home. We have a very large utility room. <laughs> There's your water heater access. This is where you're going to stick your freezer. Now there's no plug-in in there. Obviously you're gonna to have to get a plug-in put in. But you've got a nice folding table. We've got full-size washer and dryer hookups. Of course, you've got your electric panel, so you can't put anything directly in front of it. But very nice utility room. You've got your water shut off. So we'll grab bedroom number one. Now it's not a large bedroom, but it's not a small bedroom. Now I can't go into the corners over there like I normally do just because of the, the nightstands, but I can try to get you a little bit better view here. And this closet here is just about the same size as the previous one. In fact, the closets are back to back, so you can get an idea. Where how big your closet is there. And your guest bathroom here. Hello, Raiden. Try and show you your shower tub combo here. Now this has the smaller of the transom windows that, that uh, Palm Harbor uses. But as you can see, it's open. You can probably hear it, so it's nice. Get some good ventilation in here. They continued with that same marble backsplash. Now let's go check out what I've been building you all up for. I can't even close it off so <laughs> there is no door so I cannot close it off so I'm gonna have to be a little more particular in the way I film the way I walk around this room but you've got a very large master bedroom here as you can see
Now your closet is in the bathroom and we'll go ahead and we're going to show the closet first. I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to do this because I'm telling you, after I do the closet, I will, I'll show you the rest of it. So your closet here, really big closet. Now it's not very deep, but I mean, you've got a nice long closet here. We'll come in all the way from this end. You even got the transom window up above there. This closet's big enough, they've got two lights in here. So now, We'll back out, we'll close the door to the closet. Now we'll come in and I will show you the bathroom. Look at that. Talk about luxury. <laughs> I was like, oh my, when I walked in. You've got a marble pedestal to step up to. You've got the marble all the way around your tub. This really nice glass and stainless steel inlay, multiple layers of it. I mean, like what more could you ask for? <laughs> that is a nine foot long shower. Now it's only about three foot wide. But that is a nine foot long shower with a big bench down at the end. You've got this great big drying area is what they call that. I was, Cause I asked about it, I'm like, what did they call that pedestal type area? The manager told me that is a drying area. And look at the size of the tub to go with it. If you look at it, this is kind of where I got my measurement was from another home that was kind of similar to this, but you've got one, two, three, four, five, six and a half. And that tub is five foot long, at least six foot long, almost six foot long tub. I mean, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at a loss for words, <laughs> but now enough of that. I got that out of the way. That was the, like the highlight of the video. Of course, we've got the standard dual sinks. They are separated. You get drawers in both of them. I have seen where only one side has drawers. The other side has nothing but uh, doors on it. And then you've got more cabinet space in here. And now that I'm done drooling, I hope you guys are were drooling with me over this one. Go ahead and leave me one of those comments that just, I don't even know how to describe it. Just how about a comment down below? Let me know what you think of that bathroom. That was just amazing. And uh, while you're down there, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications. That way you get notified when I upload videos. And I will see you in the next one. And I do appreciate you watching and sticking around till the end. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the St. Andrews. So this was a, a really nice home. Um, like I said, you could, if you couldn't tell, I was in love with the bathroom in this home. <laughs> one of my all-time favorite bathrooms. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen anything better than this one. So now we got to get you some price information on the St. Andrews. So this was a 1,856 square foot home. So fairly large home, you know, three bedroom, two bathroom. So I love that primary bathroom in there. So now uh, the base price, which I'll pop up here from the website has come down from what it used to be when I filmed it. And I'll pop that up also. So now the base price has come down by about $12,000. I think it's safe to assume that the price on this one has come down by about $12,000 also. That that $187,000 that you saw for delivery and everything else is probably more like 
$175,000 now. So the base price that they have listed on there does not include delivery or setup, whereas the price listed here does include that. So it may or may not be the $12,000 difference. So, you know, with that said, I would guesstimate that this home probably is the $187,000, but could be the $175,000. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.